Hello students, this is Professor Chalai, and in this video, we'll look at chemical formulas. Now, uh, molecular formula is simply just a representation of the molecule that we're looking at. So, a molecular formula, formula is a representation of a molecule using chemical symbols that we've learned about followed by a subscript so followed by a subscript uh, that indicates the number of that atom the number of that element. For example, we've talked a lot about how wat uh, water has formula H2O. Um, and my pen is going crazy. Let's try a different one. H2O. That's the molecular formula for water. It has an element, H, the subscript detailing how many uh, hydrogens there are, two in this case, another element, oxygen, and we don't usually write the one there because it's implied uh, that if you don't write anything, there, there is at least one. There's going to be one of that element. So H2O. So this tells us something about water. The molecular formula tells us that for every water molecule, there's, there are two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. But it tells us nothing about how these atoms are connected or what the structure of water is. And so that's where the structural formula comes in. Uh, it gives the same information uh, as a molecular formula, molecular formula, as well as some indication uh, as to how the atoms are actually co connected together, uh, as well as some information. Um, about how the atoms are connected. So let's go back to this case of water. H2O, but we have no idea about uh, how these water, these atoms are connected. In the structural formula for water, you might see something like this. O is bonded to an hydrogen and to another hydrogen. So this gives us more information, right? We know that hydrogen forms a bond with oxygen, but not with the other hydrogen in the case of water. Uh, so oxygen sort of um, is, forms a link between the two hydrogens. Uh, sometimes you might even see it right, written in like a V form, like this, which also gives us some structural information. It tells us that these atoms are not in a straight line, but they rather form an angle, um, which is a, uh, how you might see a lot of this. So that's a structural formula. And an empirical formula uh, is simply the smallest whole number ratio, whole number ratio for the molecular formula. And for this, let's look at uh, hydrogen peroxide, which has formula H2O2, uh, the smallest whole number ratios for all of these elements would be just one. So actually, the empirical formula for uh, hydrogen peroxide is just HO. Let's look at another example. Sugar, C6H12O6, right? This is glucose. This is the uh, molecular formula. The structural formula for glucose looks something like this. It's carbon atom bonded to a carbon atom, bonded to an oxygen. Uh, this is gonna take a while, but I can, I'll fast forward so that you don't have to see it. And this is the structural formula sort of of glucose. It tells us that some of these carbons are bounded in a ring with an oxygen atom there. And most of these have an uh, oxygen-hydrogen group sticking out of the carbon. Uh, there's another carbon sticking out of this ring 
right there. So that's the structural formula for glucose. Uh, that gives us a little bit more information uh, than just the uh, molecular formula. However, the empirical formula gives us less information. So the empirical formula for glucose, uh, pause here and try to see if you can figure that out. Okay, the empirical formula, we look at the lowest whole, uh, whole number ratio for all of these, 6, 12, and 6 is going to be C1, H2O1, and we can just ignore the 1. So this is the empirical formula. Note that there could be multiple molecules with the same molecular formula, even though their structural formula will be different. For example, uh, both acetic acid and methyl uh, formate, their molecular formulas are C2H4O2, but they have different structures because they're different molecules. These are called isomers. Isomers, uh, same, let's see, same atoms, but the atoms are connected differently. There we go. So if you look up, uh, you can look up the structures of acetic acid and uh, methyl formate, and they're both included in your textbooks to see how their structural formulas are different. Uh, but that will just give, bring us to the end of chemical formulas. There are molecular formulas, uh, structural formulas that give us a little bit more information, and empirical formula that give us sort of fewer and in, uh, less information, but is also sometimes very useful. I will see you in the next uh, video when we talk about the periodic table. See you then. Bye.